We know most kids get through a COVID diagnosis without a visit to the hospital, but not everyone. But what we wanted to better understand was, you know, how could we predict which of these kids are going to end up in the ICU and get really sick so that we could be more aggressive with their treatments up front. Dr. Blake Martin with CU School of Medicine is a pediatrician and part of a research team that tracked more than 1 million kids nationwide, 18 and younger, who took a COVID test between March 2020 and September 2021. About 167,000 kids tested positive for COVID, and about 10,000 were hospitalized. And what we found is a bunch of different independent risk factors that were associated with these kids in, you know, needing these ICU-type therapies. And they found boys were at greater risk than girls, older kids more than younger, African-American children more than other races, and children who were obese or suffered from certain chronic medical conditions were at higher risk. A lot of these conditions, including race, are risk factors for adults developing more severe disease from COVID-19. And so, you know, while it wasn't surprising, it's something that definitely deserves a lot of attention. Most children now have access to a COVID vaccine, but Pfizer announced Friday the company wants more time and more data before asking the FDA to approve its three-shot series for kids under five. A study featuring a two-shot series did not show a strong enough immune response for those younger children. Pediatricians say parents are eager. I think overall there's still a, a global need to just try to protect people and, and keep them all healthy so that parents can get to work and kids can uh, get to preschool, get to, to daycare and, and hopefully stay healthy.